This lamb has become a spirit. Once bitten by it, a person will become bloodthirsty. The lamb bites the man's ear like a madman. It hurts so much that the man bangs his head against a tree, trying to get away from the lamb. But it just wouldn't let go. The man tried his best. It finally pulled the lamb down. But it wasn't long before the lamb climbed back into the meadow. A big sheep is attracted to it. The lamb didn't think twice. It bites the big sheep. And so the virus spread. At that moment, two men drove by. A big sheep got in the way. The man wanted to take it back to the tent. Suddenly, the woman appeared and pointed a gun at them. It turns out she wanted the man to help her find her companion. Grant, they came to a farmhouse, but the house was a mess. There were signs of a struggle everywhere. Even the owner was dead in the corner. Suddenly, a sheep crashed through the door. A man looked at it. Isn't that the same big sheep? He shoots it. The big sheep fell to the ground. But by that time, the door was full of sheep. They run to the car. Suddenly, a sheep went crazy and got into the car. The men tried to block it with their hands, but it was as if the mad sheep was, was like chicken blood. It bit him right on the foot, seeing that he could not resist. The man had to climb onto the roof of the car. What's even more outrageous is that the sheep has learned to drive, but there was a cliff ahead. The three people jumped out of the car quickly, and the sheep drove down the hill. The car was destroyed, and the sheep died. A man suddenly felt a pain in his right foot. He takes off his shoe and looks at it. Oh, my god. His right foot had turned into a sheep suit. At that moment, another herd of mad sheep came running wildly. The three of them were so scared that they ran away. In a panic, they ran into a laboratory. They found out the truth about the crazy sheep. It turns out that the culprit of all this was the man's brother Angus. Henry angrily questioned Angus. But Angus, in order to keep the secret, had a female scientist give the man a shot. The two of them saw the situation was not right. They fled from the lab when a large flock of sheep came rushing towards them. They slipped and fell into a big pit. The pit was filled with the corpses of sheep that had failed the experiment. It's horrifying. And the man in the lab is in deep trouble. He became the subject of the female scientist's experiments. The female scientist saw him turn into a goat man, rushed to inject him with an unknown liquid. The man continued to mutate in frantic convulsions. Eventually, he returned to his original form and passed out. Meanwhile, Angus is holding a meeting to publicize the benefits of sheep cloning and showing guests the results of his experiments. But they don't realize that danger is looming. The sheep kept barking after a while. A large group of sheep charged towards here. They started biting people crazily. But strangely, the sheep did not attack Angus. It turned out that on the way here, he happened to meet Grant who was infected by a lamb. And he was bitten by him. At this time, Angus' palm had turned into a sheep's hoof. He had also mutated. The group of sheep suddenly went mad. They don't eat grass. They eat people. They bit the people around them ferociously. Once bitten by a mad sheep would turn into a mutant sheep and the culprit behind all this was Angus. He was preparing to escape by helicopter. To stop him, the man disguised himself as a sheep and mingled with the herd. Unexpectedly, a sheep suddenly went mad and tore off the man's sheepskin. By then, Angus had completely mutated. The man was scared and fled immediately. The mad sheep chased after him relentlessly. With no escape route in sight, the man's sheep dog suddenly rushed out. Miraculously, the mad sheep became docile in front of the sheepdog. The man narrowly escaped the disaster. Meanwhile, the mad sheep gathered in the sheep pen, perhaps because they had eaten too much. They began to fart frantically, releasing a large amount of methane gas into the air. The man had an idea. He quickly took out a lighter and lit it, and threw it towards the sheep. In no time, the sheep had exploded. The mad sheep were finally eliminated. The next day, the man injected the antidote into Grant and he successfully recovered. The few of them returned to their normal lives. Hopefully, such a disaster will never happen again.